a mass of mealworms, turns waste food into protein, which is fed to farmed fish, chickens, and pigs to make food for people. A video from the insect shows major investments in science and engineering improving the process, boosting output from a few hundred tons to 20,000 tons a year. The insect CEO Antoine Hubert on Skype. In 2050, we need to produce 70% more food and we have only 5% more arable land. So we need to produce more with less, less land, less water, less greenhouse gas emissions. Traditional livestock produces protein, but experts say insects produce similar quality protein with much less feed, water and space. Current farming and food processing leaves waste food that is unfit for humans, but able to fuel rapid insect growth. These black soldier fly larvae at a Protix farm factory in the Netherlands turn waste that would otherwise end up in landfills into protein, fat, and other nutrients. Over the last 10 years, Protex scientists and engineers have been honing technology and using sensors and cameras and various control mechanisms to learn more about biology, insect behavior, and health to make the process more efficient. They are also boosting yields by picking the strains of insects that grow the fastest and produce the most young, according to a Skype interview with Protex CEO Case Arts. So we improve the insect basically almost on a weekly basis. The convergence of demand, technology, operations and biology has business analysts and industry CEOs optimistic they are on the verge of a major expansion. All of a sudden they say, okay, this is the moment. Now we're scale now we can scale. Now we can grow all over the world. And that's a very very pivotal moment. It's even sometimes uh, hard to believe. Fish farming is expected to be a major customer of insect products. Currently, much fish feed comes from catching other fish, but insects offer an alternative protein source that puts less environmental strain on the ocean. A growing human population brings strong demand for fish protein, creating strong demand for insect products. That's raising the hopes of insect industry executives. Jim Randall, VOA News, Washington.